up, peoples? A couple things. One, um, I just got out of work. It is like 7 something a.m. Uh, I am so happy to be out of work right now, and I'm so happy that I have the next two days off. And I don't care how much sleep I have to get caught up on. I don't care who I need to friend, uh, like have fun with or, you know, spending time with Jeff. I don't care. I'm recording videos this weekend or this this next couple of days, whatever it's called. Um, I'm so backed up with things. It's not even funny. But I wanted to share something with you guys while I'm sitting here. Um, so basically a couple, uh, well, yesterday. I had posted some pictures of this build that I had done and I can't take credit for the build because I didn't make it up I seen it somewhere and um, but anyway I had originally had done this build trying to do this build I should say with 24 gauge canthal and 24 flattened twisted flattened canthal uh, from cloud chasers Inc um, and of course the RDA I was trying to use couldn't even fit the, uh, just eat, couldn't fit the, the, the um, twisted off-road cloud chaser stuff. So I had to crap, scrap it. Well, yesterday while I was sitting there screwing around with stuff and mind you, these builds, like a lot of times these crazy builds, like, or not crazy, but you know what I mean? They don't even stay on my RDA. Like I just do them, I'll vape on it for a little while and then I'll junk it and try something new. So anyway, um, I was pretty happy with the way it came out, but still, I really wanted to use the flattened, uh, twisted stuff. And so tonight at work, I took advantage of my, uh, downtime and I wanted to put the dark horse on an, on an actual mech, mech mod. Um, because like I had said, I just feel like I did, I haven't properly like christened it because I've been using it on the Segeli Hunterwall, which I do love. Um, but you know, there's just something about a mechanical mod that you can't replace, you know? So with that said, um, I just got out of work. I got in the car and instead of driving home, I sat in the car, I fired it, I cleaned up the coils and I wicked it. Now I'm doing a review on this later on today. And we all know that I don't generally do like shitty reviews or anything, but I'm kind of disappointed and I need, I'm hoping that there's somebody out there that is watching this video that has had this truth. Um, but Cashmere, Cashmere Millionaires, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this company. I got this from G Giant Vapes, love them. It's called Houndstooth. Um, I can't remember the exact description of it, but I think there was like hazelnut and coconut. Anyway, the stuff smells delicious, okay? And it doesn't, it's not that it tastes bad, but it's got a very off-putting smell, after smell. So once you vape it, it, I mean, and I'm going to be brutally honest here, and I'm not saying this, like, I don't like, again, I don't like to do shitty reviews and be like, oh, this juice sucks, because... It's too subjective. Some people would love it. So who am I to say it sucks? But this some this smells almost like like you're going to a farm. And it just really bothers me that there's a picture of like a gazelle on there. I was like, what? But anyway, that's not the point. The point is I wanted to show you my build. This is this is that same exact thing that I did yesterday except it has the twisted 24 flattened canthal with 24 gauge canthal. It's got, uh, it's about 20.18 uh, on the resistance reader. Big ups to my favorite website, Lightning Vapes. Uh, my friggin, uh, whatchamacallit, crap to bed, my resistance meter. No questions asked, my homeboy Sean sent me out a new one um i got it in a day and a half or two days whatever i was so happy so regardless so regardless of the smell that this juice is giving off i'm going to show you guys how my little build works it's a single coil i've got it open up all the way on a single coil mode on my dark horse patinaed cartel um fully charged battery and um be the judge Now, 
All right, so that wasn't that bad. Um, so, needless to say, this dark horse is like out of control. I mean, uh, the drip tip alone, I, I keep saying this, I just love it. I really, really like it. Um, but yeah, I mean, single coil, I mean, this is my thing. I got this this friend that I used to have. Uh, we were like lifelong friends. And he, I don't know if he's going through like a midlife crisis or whatever, but he decided that, you know, other things were more important than my friendship. And he thinks he's better than everyone else. But anyway, regardless of that, um, it's not about that. But he like is a snot when it comes to stuff that he gives, like he gave my friend Amanda like shit because she had a single coil. It's like, why are you using a single coil? I mean, come on. You know, it's like, again, why do people care? Why do you care? You know, maybe she likes single coils. I like single coils. You tell me, does my single coil not put off enough vapor? When in reality, I care more about the fucking flavor than I do the, the vapor anyway. But you, you be the judge. Okay. Single. I mean, is that enough vapor? I don't know. You tell me. So anyway, that's that. Um, so yeah, that, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, of course, I've still got my Segelli rocking. Uh, 45 watts, 0.9 ohms, 6.3 volts. Um, I got this new juice I'm going to be re re reviewing called Mimi Brothers Rever Reserved. Mmm, it's fruity. Oh. <laughs> Delish. So, that's my little update. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for your homeboy, Crispy Divine. He's coming back. I'm gonna try to put out, like, four videos, okay? Um, cause like, think about it, I got those two juices that I just, just mentioned, okay? I have with me, um, well, I don't have them with me, but we gotta talk about my Segeli 100 watt, we gotta talk about the Dark Horse RDA, we have to talk about, um, <laughs> I forget, <laughs> but we have so much to talk about, that's all that matters. I have a Strix Elixirs order coming in the mail, um, I don't know when, but it's coming, so hopefully soon. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, I will upload this when I get home. Thank you so much for your patience, and um, stay fabulous.